Hi, this is the IP Mat 2022 paper solutions. The I am indoor paper solutions. I mean part two of the whole paper. So each part I'm solving four questions. So you get the right approach in terms of how to solve. The focus is to look at the shortcut method tricks in terms of how can you solve the questions quickly. In the exam, if you try to use a normal mathematical concepts, it becomes a little longer to solve. But if you understand the question and are able to solve it in a better method, you automatically are faster and you get more time to solve more questions. So let's look at some of the approaches. I mean, let's look at the question. Now, right angle triangle ABC. The moment you have a right angle triangle and you have one side as 13, you can make out it will be 5, 12, 13. I mean, technically, you can easily make out 5, 12, 13 because triplets are very common. You should know the triplets. The basic triplets 3, 4, 5, Pythagoras triplets, 5, 12, 13, 7, 24, 25, 8, 15, 17. These are what you should know. You can also derive the other triplets, but these four triplets you should know by heart. Right? They also mentioned that AB and AC okay, is to be 6. Okay? So B is here and a, B and A, C is 6. So A, B, A, C, the midpoints joining is 6. Now again, this is based on a property. Now the property is that if you join the midpoints, it is half the third side. Okay. That means if this is 6, then this will be automatically 12. If this is 6 and B, C will be 12, you can directly mark the answer as 12. Right. So 12, actually 5, 12, 13. So if this is 6, you can directly mark the B, C as 12. Centimeter. That's the answer. So simple concept, if you know the concept, you will get the answer immediately. So understand the fundamental concepts as far as mathematics are concerned. And if you know that, you can solve it. 5 digit number divisible by 6. Which you are following is not necessarily divisible by 6. Not necessarily. Now 1, for, to be divisible by 6, you should be even number. So we know E is even. Now if you look at all the option E, E is ending. But in A, it's ending in A. If it's ending in A, we don't know whether A is odd or even. So I can't say A is even or odd number. So the answer will be A option. I'm not necessarily divisible by 6. Okay, I can directly make out answer is A option. You can further check. 6 is basically 2 and 3, divisible by 2 and 3. So I know B, C and D are divisible by 2 because of ending in E. They're all even because for divisible by 6, the number has to be even. So E is even. So sum of digits should be divisible by 3. Now, A plus B plus C plus D plus E is divisible by 3. So, automatically D option is divisible by 3. Actually, A option also is divisible by 3. Right? For 3, they are divisible. C option is 2A plus B plus C plus D plus E, the sum of digits. So, again divisible by 3. And this is 3E sum of digits. Again divisible by 3. The only differentiating factor is 2, where we can make out that A option need not be divisible by 2 because A is not need not be divisible by 2. Because it need not be even. Therefore, the answer is A option. So it is not necessarily divisible by 6. It is possible it is divisible by 6 if A is even. But if it is not, it is not divisible by 6. How many ways can the letters of the word management be arranged such that the two vowels appear together? No two vowels. This is also a specific way to solve this sum. When you say no two vowels together, so keep the vowels separate. So I am keeping A, A, E, E separate. That means I have to arrange the remaining letters M, N, G, M, N, T. Six letters. How many ways can you arrange the six letters? Six factorial upon two factorial, two factorial because of two M and two N. So you just six factorial, two factorial, two factorial. Now this A, E cannot be together. So they have to be between these alphabets. How many places are there between these alphabets? If you look at the seven places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in these seven places, you need to choose four places. Seven C four. In these seven places, you need to choose four places because A E E has to be arranged. And how many ways they can be arranged? Four factorial upon two factorial, two factorial. Right? Four factorial is four letters. There are two A's and two E's, two factorial. Here I would have check. I mean directly to solve, I would have check. Okay, the number is multiple of seven because seven C four is a multiple of seven. But unfortunately, apart from D, which I can eliminate, all the remaining options are multiple of seven. If you divide 756 is divisible by 7, 252 is divisible by 7, 378 is divisible by 7. So I can't eliminate. Normally you can do that. Check out multiples and eliminate the op options quickly. In this case, you have three options multiple of 7. 
but otherwise a higher prime number is easy to eliminate anyway solving this okay 6 factorial is 720 720 divided by 4 will give you 180 7 c 4 is also 7 c 3 it comes to 35 you can solve it 7 c 3 is nothing but 7 into 6 into 5 upon 3 into 2 35 and 4 factorial upon 4 I mean if you look at it will be 6 solve this you will get the answers 37800 right so you can say 10 zero, and 2 zeros right in the end so 10 zero here 15 and 12 from 35 you will get a 5 which will remain 7 from 6 you will get a 2 3 so 8 into 7 into 3 ends in 8 8 so third option Up after two zeros which you remove or you can directly multiply you will get 37800 there are ways to solve things faster and if you know how to calculate things faster you again save time because a lot of people say waste a lot of time in calculation okay. room where the n persons whose average height is 160 cm if m more persons average height is 172 what is the height of m and n we want m and n m stands for 172 you can do this by allegation again a method called allegation so if you look at 172 stands for m okay m people 160 stands for n n people the average is given between 164 so you write the first quantity here second quantity here you write the average here and just do allegation and subtract so 172 minus 164 you get 8 164 minus 160 you get 4 so you automatically get a ratio of 1 is to 2 for m is to n a option so look at allegation look at a method called allegation understand the method so that helps to solve things quickly. The simple tricks, simple techniques will help you to solve things faster. Thank you.